So now we're starting to deal with uh, how do we kind of look at a little bit more of what we're spending that money on. Uh, so again, we had we took out our loan. Cool. Now it's time to start to deal with uh, where's the money going. Uh, so in our our case, let's say for example we we took out that loan, but we're we're going to start putting some of that money away. So one of the things we did was we made eight hundred thousand uh, dollars in the first year. Pretty nice. I wish I could do it. Moving on. <laughs> But let's also say that we made $300,000 in beverages alone. So I'm going to go ahead and just factor that in. So we add those two together and made, all right, we made $1.1 million. No biggie. Nice restaurant. <laughs> but so we're, we're starting to look. Okay, well, now that's where I was at year one. That's what I want to be at at year one. Where do I want to be at in year five? You know, making a five-year plan. So suddenly, let's say for example, for my five-year plan, I want to gross, I want to make now uh, over a million dollars in food. And food, beverages, eh, we'll go ahead and knock it down. I only want to have a, a growth of uh, $400,000. Again, the same thing, if we look at it uh, sort of in our math, for the next five years, all I want to do is grow in revenue a hundred thousand dollars safe assessment I'm not gonna judge it but I've got to fill in this stuff right here this is these guys so what I can do is I can actually highlight uh, c8 to g9 and I you know you see I have sort of my starting point my ending points I need to fill in the uh, middle well, nice little fun keyword there fill huh don't we have a fill option we do have a fill option. One of those options is series. Now when we pull up the series section, you see we actually sort of get just that. We get how are we filling it in. Now instead of doing autofill and uh, date like we've done in the past, one of the things we can do is we can talk about the type uh, in the sense of we can either make it a linear or a growth percentage. So linear. If we follow a trend, instead of doing a step value, if we do a trend, what we're doing is we're going to look at our starting point and our stopping points for each one of these rows and just sort of follow that, that slope. So it's going to raise itself on a constant amount. And if I hit OK, you see exactly that. Uh, a, across the span of the five years, food basically increases about a hundred thousand uh, beverages increases about twenty five thousand to reach up to four hundred thousand so that's one way we can do it realistically though we probably are going to be working off of a growth margin we're gonna be trying to uh, work you know I want to make uh, better than 15% I want to do better than I did 50 you know last year I want to do 15% better so one of the things I can do is in that same series option, instead of selecting linear, if I go with growth, now ignoring our step value and just following a trend again, what growth can do is it can give me sort of a more of a shaped curve. I'm going to put a little bit more in the spending uh, in years one, two, three, in hopes that years three, four, and five uh, start to uh, shoot exponentially upward. I wish it was exponential, but you know. Uh, higher and we see that I make not as much money in year two but hopefully by year three and four I'm starting to make a lot more money so the same thing I can do is I can just come in here and auto complete all of that